Oftentimes we hear about professional athletes' activity off the field, and it's not a good headline. But that is not the case tonight. As our sports anchor Ronnie Duncan found out, the Detroit Lions are working to inspire their younger fans on and off the field. Detroit Lions linebacker Chris Boyd is used to a lot of chatter in the huddle, but this time he's the guest principal. However, he wasn't leading the charge on the field. He was passing out meals and more at the Dixon Educational Learning Academy. Now the looks on some of these kids' faces at Davison Elementary in Detroit was priceless. It was also one that Chris wishes he could have experienced back in the day. It would have shocked me too. I would have had like no words to be honest with you. So I kind of get with their, it's not every day you just see a football, NFL football player just suddenly lunch. Nor one fitting right in with the staff. All of this was part of the Lions partnership with the Ford Motor Company and Athletes for Charity. Kathleen Laporte is the founder and president and she sees firsthand the enormous effects. The presence of a player of Chris status just getting involved and giving kids that extra push that could ultimately lead them to higher academic achievements. When you have a professional athlete that they generally see on Sundays, uh, you know, winning football games, uh, handing a book out to you and saying, it's important to read. I want you to be just like me. And Chris will agree. It doesn't hurt passing out that message after a Lions win. It's a little more sweeter than we wanted to, so it's, it's definitely, uh, definitely grateful and I'm blessed to be in the position uh, that I'm in, so it's definitely good we got the dub too and uh, good to get it back. Well, I guess Chris had it right because the Lions have been roaring on the inside. You saw what they did Sunday, and we know they're winning out on the outside because in life, it's all about education and, and learning to get a higher degree. In Detroit, Ronnie Duncan, Detroit Now News.